Many of today's ridge vents are plastic. Squirrels love plastic. What have we done to combat that to deter squirrels? Is it wise to put a ridge vent on a house that has no way of getting intake or they don't want to spend the money to get the intake? Well, we're talking about the edge vent and the steps. You do your gutter apron as you normally would first, first and then the climate appropriate underlayment. Cut the slot through the underlayment, then the edge vent. Repeat the underlayment, start shingling. What's the reason for the underlayment underneath and then you repeat it over, but more, more importantly underneath. Remember that funny photo I showed you with a very little bit of ridge vent? Could we have added the hip ridge vent to that house? The answer is yes. And then his question is, at what point is one of them exhaust and one of them intake? Is there a rafter maximum length where a ridge vent work, won't work? So I made a big deal about the edge vent surviving a 30 day ice dam test. Great. Is it breathing? The question is, how does the roof pitch affect the performance of the baffle? 